All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, my happy hour live stream of Europa Universalis 4, where we are playing the Art of War expansion as Sunda. And right now, I'm almost done repaying all of that debt that we accrued in the first episode of the, or in the first live stream of Sunda last week. We have one loan left out of the 25 in total, I think it was, that we had to take to win our war against Majapahit. But we did it. We conquered their provinces. Now I'm dealing with the unrest issues. They're at 75% of Javanese patriots. So 25% uh, more until they do, in fact, rebel against me. Oh, boy. But uh, the unrest in, in total has gone down. So it's, uh, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. We were at, like... 20 and things like that last week so we're doing we're doing a lot better unfortunately they still do want to rebel from us which is bad because I really I really don't want to do another harsh treatment because that's what we've been doing to sort of stave off the rebellion but that of course is using military power which I really want to use to get military tech 3 we need to start teching up I mean we're at 222 yeah, oh, that's just awful I, I need to start getting to Admin Tech 4 as soon as possible so I can start colonizing, because that will be very important to me. Um, also, what was I doing? Oh, uh, yes, and to that end, we have put a focus on Admin Points for now. So let's actually start up with things. We should be able to pay off our last loan here right now. Yes, yes. Where's the tab? Oh, my God. I really need to remember which... Uh, the hotkeys for all of these. I think it's actually, isn't it just like, oh yeah, it's one, two, three, four, etc., etc. And I think F1 actually turns it on. Haha, <laughs> it does. I'll never use it again. <laughs> uh, this game has so many hotkeys for all the different menus because there's just so much to this game. I never remember them. It's just, it's it's awful. I really should remember these things. Oh. Yes, we claimed that province. We won't start a war against them because we can't yet until our truce expires, which is still a ways away. But we claim that province for a mission. So what do we have now? We could take Kedere. But with our truce, we would lose so much stability doing that, which I, oh boy, I do not want to do. Uh, we could make a proper fleet, but... um. Well, we are making money again, but I need to start focusing on building economy buildings. Uh, oh, boy. Which actually, oh, God, with our tech level, can we build any buildings? Oh, no, we can. Yes, we can build temples. Lovely. We need 50. Oh, my God, 50 gold. Oh, boy. <laughs> I forgot that it's a lot more expensive building temples than it was building, like, the uh, Native American buildings that are, like, what, 10 gold and some admin points and crap like that? 50 gold. Oh, man. We're, we're, we need it, though. We need to start building up a bigger tax base. So let's continue. So none of these missions I really care for right now. I'd love to take Kedari. I really would. I would love to crush the rest of the Majpahit country here. But I... Oh, God. I, it, I'll take the stability hit. I, it would be horrible for me. Oh, God, and this rebel faction's almost here again. No. <laughs> God, no. Oh, God. Oh, I'm back. 33% on that. Shit. Oh, God. I don't... I really... I Honestly, I don't know what to do with that. All right, recall our diplomat from Bali. Man. So I just can't keep... What we have... Ooh, we have gained the money for paying back the loans now. So I'm kind of intrigued to give them more autonomy. See what it does. Because we haven't really done it. I mean, we can't change the culture because they're already Javanese. <sighs> Let's see, why isn't that a part of the stuff in here? I guess that just reduces the unrest. Which one are the autonomy over here? So they're all at 0%. Oh boy, so they're already like a much higher autonomy than our stuff. Hmm. So that would drop the unrest to zero. Ah. 
So right now we're losing trade power, production efficiency, tax modifier, manpower, shipbuilding time, and recruitment time. Oh, God. <laughs> and it looks like it's roughly, well, for trade power, it's half of whatever percentage it is. And for everything else, it's whatever percentage it is. So if we give them 25 more autonomy. Wow. they Oh, boy. We'd really be losing a lot of tax money from all of them. Ah, oh, God. Um, I think we have to, though. I, I mean, it, it goes until... Wow, 1488. Holy crap. So that, oh boy, that is 30 years of autonomy. Um, huh. And that's a long time to go without all of these wonderful things from them. Well, it does look like it, it goes down 0.1 each month. Oh, and 0.1 because we're at peace. Oh, no, just 0.1. Because we're at peace. Hmm. I kind of want to do it, though, because I, I cannot spend any more military power. I need to start teching up. What would it be, though, to do the harsh treatment? 169. Oh, God. You, Kettery, what are you at with your tech? Still at two. But I don't... I do not need them improving anymore, because that would be horrible for me. I can't... Lose in a tech race to them. Who is their other... Brunei. Oh, boy. That's stupid. Why would you rival Brunei? Look at them. <laughs> they could wipe you out. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We're going to have to do it, I think, for now. Because at the moment, we just we can't risk a rebellion in our current state. So I, I think, for the time being, autonomy will be our way out of this. Hopefully... Because that'll bring our unrest to zero, so we shouldn't get any more uh, hits against this. I'm hoping. So let's give it a try. If it doesn't work, then oh well. I mean, we haven't played with this one before, with the Art of War before until this game, so... Oh, and they're gone! They're gone! Alright, what are we getting money-wise now? Not too much of a hit, because we already weren't getting much from these provinces. So, losing their taxes, I guess, wasn't as big of a deal. Uh, which is good. That's, I mean, that's a good thing. So, it won't be as much of a hit. And we can... Oh, and actually, it only brought it... What? Wait, hold on, what? Oh, because their autonomy was already much lower. Oh, that's why that's 58%. The rest are like 68%. Wow. <laughs> 68.9 negative modifier. Oh, boy. Okay, military. You all go here. Actually, no, go here. There we go. And I'll combine all of you together again because I don't really need you sitting there if unrest is already zero. So that's good. That works for me. Uh, yes. Okay, fair enough. Oh, God. Bourgeois request privileges. Oh, God, I'll lose the Diplo points, because I need the admin points. We'll lose that. Uh, oh, oh, no, wait, what? The Sudanese peasants? Oh, crap. Oh, my God, because I raised the autonomy in these others? Wait, what? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Because I lowered the taxes in those other places. Huh. Yeah, since I gave them more autonomy, it basically equated to lowering their taxes, so now my peasants are pissed at me? Ha. Huh. But, because my revolt risk is so low in all of them, or the unrest, rather, is so low in all these places, they're not really so pissed. The only province that has any unrest is Kowali. The rest are at zero, so I actually don't think I have to worry about this. I mean, that's... God, what is it? 4.3% chance of them getting 5 extra percent? I mean, we could harsh treatment it. <laughs> um, no, I'll just let that go. I'll let it slide because, yeah. Actually, we'll put our army onto that one. Let's see how the unrest goes down. So right now it's at 4.4%. 4.3%. And 28 
Nice, nice. A nice little six stack up there will do a good. So, they're now at 2.7%. I'm not going to really bother with them. All right, how is all of this? Accumulate. Oh, no, the accumulate money went away. <laughs> Oh, I should have I should have uh, clicked that quickly. Damn, that would have been great because I'm trying to do that right now. Oh, God. okay. So our heir falls ill. We can gain legitimacy, and 50% chance he lives. We'll lose half of our money roughly. 75% uh, he dies. We gain 30 legitimacy. Or well, it's 50. Well, 75% he dies. 25% he gains legitimacy. Ha. Huh. What's my heir? Is he go oh, he's a strong heir. He's actually pretty good. Let's send for the train medicus. There we go. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Tragically died. Uh, crap. Damn. How old's my current heir? He's 32. We should be okay, I think. We have a royal marriage with Bali, right? Still can't offer vassalization with them. Hmm. Uh, dynastic option. Oh, yeah, we have royal ties. Brunei, can we offer? No, they don't want royal ties with us. Oh my, look at that. Hostile attitude towards us. Yeah. Yeah, they've got a hostile attitude. Oh boy. <laughs> Could we offer an alliance? No, no. No, they won't They won't take an alliance. Crap. <laughs> oh my god, that actually did go up to 90%. Son of a... <laughs> oh, come on. It's The unrest is lowered. Once it gets to 95, we'll have to... Oh, God, how much would it be to handle them now? Oh, screw it. We'll lose the 12 military points. There we go. I shouldn't have to worry about it after this. Because that should be enough time for the unrest to completely die down. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Why does that still say 90? Why does that still say 90? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Prove legitimacy? No. Man, I really do need to get more legitimacy, though. That would be a good thing to have. Uh, we can create a proper fleet. Oh, no! Bali! No! <laughs> they have peasants. Huh. I wonder how that'll affect us. I would love to go and help them, but... Um, no. No. I am not sending... Because I only have three transport ships, so sending a three army, I'd have to land on Lumbuck and then take a uh, water crossing. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry, Bali. Who, what kind of pirates are it? So, hello, what are you? So it's peasants, not uh, Majapahit or Javanese nationalists or anything like that. God, I really want to take Kettery. We just don't, we, oh God, we can't, we can't do that right now. <laughs> oh boy. Bali has announced Macha Bahit as their new rival. Yes. Good, good, Bali. Excellent. With your little peasant problem. That ain't good. That ain't good at all for you, my friend. But, oh, well, say la vie. A lot of wars going on in this part of the world. Oh, oh, they finally did end that war. Pasai is now huge. Oh, crap. Let's avoid them. Let's avoid them like the plague. I'm actually surprised at how large their provinces are compared to all, uh, so many other provinces now. I mean, like, look at all of ours. We've got two, four, six, eight, nine provinces there, taking up that little slice. We have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on a much bigger island. Hmm. Still, though, avoid Pasai. They are enemy. Potential enemy. Oh, we have enough to buy a a uh, temple or not we have 50 oh I don't have the technology damn it <laughs> uh, I knew that would come to bite me man that's not good so tech 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 we cannot tech anything up at the time being so what will this give us that'll give us crap you don't get like the temples and stuff till tech four don't you Crap. Well, yeah, we gotta focus on teching up then. We'll be at tech level 3 for Diplo and uh, military tech soon, which will be good. Especially military. We need that to face up against Machapahit again. 
So we will destroy them. Which we could use that money then to buy more soldiers. That might be a good thing. What's our current military makeup here? We have four infantry, two cavalry. I'm tempted to put us to a 10 stack and get two more of each. Brunei has declared war upon their new enemy, Katai. Weren't you already at war with each other? Why am I in that map mode? <laughs> I must have hit a button. Oh, poor Katai, you are no longer going to be a thing. Very soon. What the? Why does it keep going back? It keeps switching over to another map mode. What the crap? Oh, because oh, cause I'm, I'm using the land units right now. <laughs> That's why I still had that open. Um, for my military, I think we might want to do two mercenaries, actually. Hmm, Asian long spearmen. Yeah, I think two of those might be good. Because we need mercenaries in our army to try and help with our military makeup. And then our cavalry will buy two of our own. Oh, oh, out of money. <laughs> oh, you guys join up with Kawali. Oh, yes, your morale is so crap because of my current uh, ooh, military expenditures aren't exactly good. I do have my uh, ma military maintenance down quite low right now, just so we can make more money. So, that is a thing to remember. Hmm. Alright, well, oh, that should be enough for another cavalry. And now how about our missions? Damn, I was hoping that money one would pop back up again, because we have no gold. Uh, Pasai, blah blah blah. Oh, wait, I probably should have paid attention to that Pasai one. They probably declared war on... Yep, they declared war on Pagarigyung. Huh. Yeah. I didn't pronounce that right in the slightest. All right, you guys join up with Kowali. That should help with our little unrest issue we have there at the time being as well. Oh, yeah. Point eight, point three, bam. There we go. Combine that all together. We can invest in new technologies. Yes! Tech 3 of diplomacy. What all did that give us? Early Carrick. We could probably upgrade some of those. That'd be good. Uh, max colonial range. Trade efficiency. X. Ooh, actually, yeah. Our trade went up a bit. That's good. Uh, naval morale. Good. Naval maintenance inc or increased by negative. That's good. Ooh, 5 prestige. Lovely. Uh, settler growth. Always good. Oh, oh, and we can actually get the military tech as well. There we are. Excellent. We didn't get any new units, but we got morale boost. Next one we'll get tactics, armory, and morale. Hmm, when do we get our next unit? Oh, at seven. Wow, at seven is when we get the next unit type. Ha. <laughs> all right, let's combine all you guys together. What is our current military expenditures then? 0.63 on mercenaries, 1.79 on our own military. So, if we go... Let's hold on, let's pause. And do a little experiment. So, if we raise that to there... Oh boy, oh boy, look at that expenditure. We'd be making basically no money at all. Let's keep that at the M. There we are. So, we're making 2.2 .2 a turn. Oh boy, okay. Military tech. Or not military tech, but tech in general. So we almost have admin. That'll be good. We can support rebels in foreign countries. Lovely. Which, there's also a new cast of spell eye for that. If you're uh, with Art of War, if you're supporting rebels, you can uh, use that as a cast of spell eye against the enemy. Which is awesome. So they're still allied to me, even though that whole rebel incident happened. So that's a good thing. I don't know what that all, how that all turned out for them, but uh, okay. All right, so, so when do we get the temple? Uh, let's go back here. Uh, blah, blah, blah. That's production efficiency. Five. Holy crap, we don't get temples till five? Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, my God, that's going to take a while. Man, I'm really wanting temples, too, because that'll be key to increasing my uh, money, and money is good. 
Hey, we got a new heir. He's all right. He's not great, but he's all right. I can live with him. Okay, so... How are things going the rest of the world? Ah, poor Katai. They're trying to go around going through all of the, uh... <laughs> Oh, all the tribes over here. Oh, they're being sieged at their capital right now. I can see the little explosions. Oh, uh, poor Kat Oh, God. Devi the mother. Uh, let's see. What do we get here? A yearly legitimacy. Increased chance of a new heir is down. Diplomatic relations minus one. Or gain prestige. I love my wife, but she is no goddess. Let's go with that one. Because that one doesn't include loss of things. So, prestige. Here we go. That might come back to bite me in the butt later, but oh well, c'est la vie. Maybe we could declare war on one of these guys. I mean, I want to take Majapahit Heat badly. Like, really, really want to take them badly, but we still have like five years <laughs> until we can do anything against them. But anyone else I try and go to war against would be painful. Ooh, they have an alliance with someone. Bhutan. Oh, so they're like allied with each other. Two little one province guys. That's not too bad. You have any other allies? No. You have no allies. I'm intrigued to kill you. I really want to. Really badly. Huh. We don't have a claim on them. But it could... Ooh, six. Oh, no. <laughs> Even if I built up the fleet to take my uh, people over there. Oh, boy. That would just... Water crossing with that. Oh, that'd be painful. Whenever I go and attack these guys, I'll have to land my people in Kindari and then attack. I'd like to attack all of them at once. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> I think that's how we're going to have to take them. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I really want to conquer this whole island because by the time that happens, we should be able to colonize. And then we can start moving along this way, which would be glorious. Ah. <sighs> Oh, that one uh, enemy or patriot army isn't a thing anymore, which is good. Our national unrest is down, which is lovely. Our legitimacy is what's hurting us right now with our unrest. 23. 23 legitimacy. Hmm. Yeah, that's not helpful. Uh, hmm. I'm kind of regretting taking Shakti now. I should have taken one of the ones that uh, helps with money. We might do that for our uh, when our current uh, leader dies and our heir takes over, we'll take one of the other gods. Even though by that point we'll probably be at war again. But yeah, we'll take like one of the, uh, there's, I can't remember what all of the gods are. I wish we could look in here, but no, we cannot. Uh, but yeah, I we think that'd be a good thing. We'll go with one of the economy ones. I, I'm pretty sure there's one that increases like the national tax modifier. So, uh, that will be the one to go with. Okay, so, base... Tolerance, friendly troops. If we move our troops out, we would actually have unrest there. But it's going down slowly but surely. How's the autonomy in these areas? Still a lot of autonomy. And will be for a very, very long time. Oh, God. Hmm. Yeah, I still couldn't believe that. I, I guess it makes sense, you know, that we, we lowered the taxes for them by giving them autonomy, that these guys were pissed off. But thankfully, my unrest was already so low in all, all of these areas, it didn't affect me as much as, you know, it could have. Only Kowali had unrest because of that uh, idea thing that popped up, or event that popped up, rather. So that is good. That is good. How's our little fleet doing? Doing all right. They're doing all right. Crappy little barks. Any good missions? No. No. <laughs> God. Oh, God. I'm never going to... I don't think I've ever had my legitimacy in any game of uh, EU4 that I've ever played. I don't think I've ever had legitimacy at 100. So I never take that quest because I'll never get it there. Same with uh, prestige. I never get that very high either. I think the highest I've ever had my prestige was like 80 or 90. And wow, Majapahit is really building up an army there. That is not good. Hopefully Bali... Oh yeah, Bali will, when I declare war on them, they will indeed join me in the fight because we are allies and they also are rivaling them. All right, excellent. We have Admin Tech 3. Production efficiency up. 
May support rebels. Ah, 928 to go until we get the next, which is when we get idea groups, which will be good. We'll get that, and then we will unlock expansion idea. Wait, that went away. I didn't tell you to go away. Oh, God, Devi the mother again. Oh, let's take the prestige. So, let's see. With the ideas, we also do have some new ideas with the Art of War expansion, I believe. The crap, which ones are they? Are they these? I have no idea. I... I always, almost, almost always take the exact same ideas. I almost, every game I play, I grab expansion, exploration, and defensive is usually what I go for. Sometimes I'll take quantity instead of defensive, but almost all the time it's expansion and exploration. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think expansion will definitely be good because we also get a merchant from that one. We'll only have one colonist, which is disappointing. Exploration would be good to have, you know, multiples, but we'll get a merchant too, which will be a good thing. So let's see, back in here, what are our ideas? Kandi Shrine, Religious Unity, Idea Cost Down, Missionary Strength, Merchant and Trade Steering, excellent. Goods Produced Nationally, good. Ship Costs and Trade Efficiency, all good, all good things. Hmm, but, but, no extra colonists. So yeah, only one colonist. That's going to be slow to colonize, but it's what we got. I'll probably... Well, I'll, I actually will end up taking exploration because I do want to colonize our way over here and then down to Australia. I want to beat the Westerners to, uh, to take Australia. I think that'll be good. See, I want you guys to all go with, to war with one another so that I can swoop in when you're weak. But no, these two are allied. And they... They'll probably go to war with these guys at some point. But, eh, I'm not counting on it for the time being. Ooh, naive relative. Execute him for treason. Or national spy defense. I don't want to lose the admin power. I'll take this. I don't... Uh, at this point in the game, I don't see spies as a huge issue. So, we'll go with that. With my luck, that'll hurt me, but, eh, oh well. Oh god, we're actually making, like, no money from them. <laughs> Damn you, Pajang! Is that how you say that? I have no clue. But, uh, ooh, actually, this is probably a good point to end it on for this stream. As, uh, that is, uh, we're at the hour, so we've hit the new month. Let's pause and save. And yeah, I think that is going to be it for this week's stream. We've, we're doing pretty good. You know, last week I thought we'd have to give up on this Sunda game because I, oh my god, it went horribly for us. But we pulled it back. We conquered those four provinces from Majapahit. We ended up having to take a crap load of loans, but we've paid those loans off today. So we're now we're making money again. We dealt with our unrest issues. Unfortunately, it did mean giving autonomy to these new provinces of ours, which I'm disappointed in. I was hoping we could avoid that, but man, they, they just kept going up, and that uh, Javanese rebel faction just kept going, and I definitely wasn't going to give in to their demands to go back to Majapahit. That is no, 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 no. I fought hard to take those. Uh, but yeah, so we've we've recovered from last week. So I'm kind of sad to end it here, but hey, it is uh, 10 o'clock. That is the end of my streaming time. So I hope you all have enjoyed today. And if you missed anything, you can check out the video of it uh, this week on my YouTube channel, Kotobos Games. And uh, yeah, I hope you come back for next week, Sundays at 9 to 10. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one.